I'm very happy to, to uh, introduce my, myself. I'm, I'm, I'm a professor here at the University of Macerata. I'm teaching uh, uh, digital development for, for cultural heritage, uh, um, documentary uh, uh, elaboration of, of contents uh, for cultural heritage and tourism. And uh, the, I start my presentation. Um, Yes, here it is. I hope you are, you are uh, watching at my, my video, at my, my monitor. So uh, my idea to, uh, uh, this morning is to present you some experiences that we uh, organize at the University of Macerata, um, trying to experiment the, the, the issues and, uh, and the advantages of, uh, um, uh, of using uh, the, the Wikimedia platform, so all the, the Wikimedia uh, projects. Uh, I will give some time uh, to present them to you uh, in an educational context in the field of uh, uh, cultural heritage and tourism. So what is the, uh, how we can face the, the challenges of the infosphere of the uh, this global collection of information and data we are living into uh, in, in this moment. And what role has Wikimedia projects, so Wikipedia Commons, Wikivoyage, Wikilogs Monument in this framework? Uh, I will uh, present to you synthetically uh, some of the experiences we organized here just to give you some suggestions uh, and maybe uh, open up the, uh, let's say, uh, open up the, the, the discussion. I hope we will uh, um, share together after a, a, a little pause, uh, uh, let's say after one hour and a half of my presentation. So a sort of focus group discussion, discussing on the pros and the cons of this approach. So what, what, what is your, our opinion on Wikipedia? What we did we use it or not? Uh, why not? Uh, and um, what could be the, the, the requirements for a good uh, digital content, good digital information for cultural heritage and tourism? Um, let's start from uh, a, a prophetical book. Pierre Lévy wrote in 1994. So, l'intelligence collective uh, pour une anthropologie de, de cyberspace. The, the, the idea of, uh, of Pierre Lévy was to uh, reflect on what could be the, 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 the consequences of the, uh, of the new uh, uh, um, sharing of information and knowledge that Internet had, has opened some, some years before and the new uh, thing that that then we will, we will be called the, the World Wide Web, where uh, we're opening. He, 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 he wrote that uh, we think that this post-media era, um, in which communication technologies will serve to filter and help us to navigate knowledge and enable us to think collectively. This is, uh, uh, so I, I, I <laughs> bolded these, these two words because I think they are the, the key words of my presentation of today. Think collectively, produce collectively, co-create, rather than simply all masses of information around with us. Allah, unfortunately, uh, most of the big companies are, are still interested, and it was 1994, in the uh, discussion, discussions about bandwidth. That, I mean, after 26 years uh, is still, I mean, a core topic uh, in the market. Anyway, so this idea of uh, applying the, I mean, using this, this uh, open framework of information and data that the World Wide Web would have, would have been to think collectively. So to produce, to share information, to uh, enhance our possibility to decide and to, uh, um, to learn. Let's start from cultural heritage. I, um, um, uh, 
I start from the, 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 the FARO Convention, so the Council of Europe Framework Convention on the value of cultural heritage for society. The word value, it's another key word this morning. So the value of cultural heritage, it's an economic value, it's a value for community. One of the, the two of the, of the definitions inside the Convention of FARO uh, are those that I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you. The first one, what is cultural heritage? What is cultural heritage? Um, it's a group of resources inherited from the past, which people, so it's people who define, who, uh, 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 let's say, define, yes, what is cultural heritage? That it's people who has the, 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 the right to identify independently of ownership as a reflection and expression of their constantly evolving values, beliefs, knowledge, and traditions. So cultural heritage uh, comes from the interaction between people and places through time. As you may guess since, uh, since now, this is a definition that can be interesting to be considered also for touristic destinations. So uh, what are the signs of people, of, of the interactions between people and places through times? Another interesting definition is that of heritage community. So heritage community is people who value specific aspects of cultural heritage, which they wish to sustain and transmit to future generations. This is the, the I mean, the deep sense of the word heritage. Uh, it's not just beauty. Uh, Heritage means something that we as communities value as important, as ident identifying for ourselves, and we want to sustain and transmit it to a future generations. Uh, in, the, in the words of the Faro Convention, they uh, underline, they highlight the role of public actions, support communities in this uh, 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 work of sustaining and transmitting uh, cultural heritage. So cultural heritage comes from communities. First, because our communities created cultural heritage. They changed the, their, the landscape, they changed places uh, 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 according to their needs, according to their um, wishes. Secondly, because cult, uh, communities decide now and, and, and manage now what is significant for them. What is not significant will be left away, will be destroyed, will be forgotten. If they decide that something is significant for them, this has this need to be supported, this need to be uh, uh, um, saved, uh, uh, preserved and um, sustained and transmitted. The other, the, other, uh, the other side of the medal is the, the, the environment, the, the infosphere, uh, so the web uh, uh, environment. Uh, the web, the World Wide Web, is the global information ecosystem. Someone defined, defined it, it, the infosphere is the definition that I like, the, this idea of a world, of a, of, you know, of a sphere, of a planet made of information, made of data. We live inside this environment. We live a double life at, at the moment, but I mean, at the moment, now in particular, but uh, since some, some years. So we live in mean, physical life, of course, uh, uh, made of, of meetings, made of uh, interactions with things and with people, but we also live inside this information uh, world, in this information sphere. Um, um, uh, it was defined online, so it's online plus live. We uh, live inside this infosphere to build our knowledge, to guide our choices, to interact with other people, we interact with institutions, companies, to plan our, our travels, to decide, to decide what uh, exposition we are going to to visit and so on and so forth. What university to inscribe to and so on. Um, I think that web uh, 
it, it, it's an ideal environment for communities to cooperate, so to learn about their cultural heritage and then decide what cultural heritage they feel as significant to be sustained and transmitted. So first, the, the, if, we, if we decide, if, you, if we define a sort of, of, of cycle of, 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 of steps uh, of, um, in, 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 this, in, in, in this field, we will first um, have to, to, to focus on the um, knowledge of heritage, knowledge of what are the, 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 the assets of, 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 of landscape, of places. Then uh, knowledge would be transformed into sustain and, uh, and dissemination and uh, uh, preservation and uh, transmission to future different uh, generations. So uh, the web as we leave it now is the right place where to adopt collaborative approaches uh, practices of reuse, I will explain you, uh, to you later what I mean with reuse and sharing of knowledge of content. That is, it has a value. Uh, content is an asset for uh, touristic destination, is an asset for cultural uh, institutions. It's not just uh, something so in, that it's so immaterial that it has no value and no uh, use. Um, but the web has, uh, has changed uh, through, through times. Uh, after the first times, uh, the first, I mean, 15 years, let's say, uh, from the mid 90s to the, the first years of the new century, um, the web was, was, was sort of archipelago. It was, it was made of islands, small islands that we, we used to call websites. So, closed islands with a, with a sea <laughs> around, um, where some information about institutions, people, uh, newspapers, and so on, were, were offered, were, were findable. Let's say. Now the web has changed. First, in the mid, in, in, around 2003, 2004, it has changed towards a social uh, network uh, um, uh, as a, a social network environment. So the user-generated content, the conversation, the collective intelligence or the collective stupidity, they are two sides of the same medal, uh, became the, 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 the principal uh, uh, sources for, for this infosphere. So no, no more, I mean, less and less official information, more and more, user generated information user generated content then in the last 10 years the web is changing again the web 3.0 as they call it the web of data that is uh, um, let's say side by side with the web of information so the infosphere now is a galaxy of digital units of information so units of information that are ready to be understood, reused, elaborated, and relaunched, let's say, uh, from um, software agents, from machines, not just from people. Most of the, the traffic on the web at the moment is, uh, comes from the activity of softwares, much more than the activity of physical people. Um, because this is important for the for the search engine. This is important to launch metadata, keywords, metadata, and so on. I'm not going into deep in this part because we are not making a, I mean, a technical presentation, but you have to be uh, aware that the web now is the web of softwares and people at the same time. So this idea of this, the website as an island, as a closed area is more and more changing. This idea that to support a touristic uh, um, destination, to make marketing on the web, um, has to be uh, performed through by creating a website is old, is not more that, uh, that efficient. If a website is not 
social, it's not a, a place of interaction with people. We, were, we are not looking for websites anymore. So uh, the new cycle of, of knowledge is an open knowledge cycle. Uh, the knowledge is uh, more is continuously enriched by the interactions of people and software with knowledge and by the exchange of ideas, the, the, the spread the word uh, um, phenomenon. So if we uh, want to represent uh, this change, we can say that 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more, the, the web could be represented like this. The social archipelago of web 2.0 so you see with the very nice and uh, funny representation. So the MySpace uh, 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 continent, the Gulf of YouTube, the Sea of Culture, the ocean of subculture, uh, um, Wikipedia, IRC, Islas, the blog archipelago, so the blogs, uh, uh, Facebook, see a little, a little state called Facebook. So this is, was the, 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 the it's an old image, an old representation of the web. Now the web is this. It's a, a, it's a galaxy. The, the, the right way to represent it, it's a galaxy. A galaxy of semantic infosphere. Semantic means that every little piece of information, every unit of information um, is understood, could be understood, not only by humans, but also by software. And softwares have um, the power, and uh, of course we have to teach them what to do, <laughs> and they have the power and uh, the capability to create new information and exclude wrong information. So if we want to feed artificial intelligence services, we have to go over the idea, the idea of duples, like author, so a, a definition, uh, the, the, the sign equals author equals John Smith, title equals Sam dot doc. Going, we have, we have to go over this, this uh, approach, going towards triples, where John Smith is in connection with Sam dot doc through this uh, property, it's a linking property that is author of Sam doc. Just meet could be a, a URL, could be a, a web address, is biography, is official web page like we have a, 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 as teachers inside the university, for example. And some doc could be the text of his work, of his, uh, um, his paper, for example. To define his author of, we need ontologies. Ontologies are a particular kind of uh, documents, or, I mean technical documents, that define classes, property, and relations of what does it mean being author of? What does it imply to be author of? For example, an author has to be a person, has to be a, 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 needs a, a birth date, a place of birth, and so on and so forth. So we, and then the, 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 the artificial intelligence uh, agents and services maybe can exclude something. For example, that some doc is author of John Smith. Um, that means that some things are uh, manifestly absurd, incoherent, and uh, web agents, artificial intelligence agents, understand it. Uh, something more on this galaxy representation. All these uh, uh, globes or these little spheres are uh, databases, are collections of information that are open, open to be understood, to be connected, and they are in connections with each other. Uh, if you see, I don't know if you can read well the, the, the agenda on the, on the top uh, left of the, of the screen, you see that most of all these Globes are life sciences that, of course, have needs and have very straight rules. Uh, the yellow ones are government, uh, the gray are social networking, and uh, the purple are user generated contents. Um, linguistics are the green part, very important as well, of course, in an intelligent 
artificially intelligent uh, infosphere, a lot of importance. I have more and more the automatic translating, the automatic version of words, uh, the, the, and so on. Um, what I want to uh, uh, highlight before going to go on is that Wikidata, that is a direct production of the Wikimedia uh, environment, the Wikipedia, Wikimedia ecosystem, is at the center of this galaxy. It's a sort of a nut, central nut of this. So Wikidata connects. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a service that you, that, that is very, very useful central to connect all these globes, all these uh, 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 spheres of knowledge with each other because it uh, has the, 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 the dream to um, describe everything, to uh, present everything in form of tripods. So Wikipedia is, is made to be, to be read by people, of course, but Wikidata is made to be read by machines, by softwares. Uh, another topic very important in, in my presentation is the question of information liter literacy. Um, these, uh, these five laws uh, of media and information literacy uh, uh, published by the UNESCO uh, organization uh, some years ago, they wanted to put in evidence uh, the importance of information literacy as a right for everyone in the world. Information literacy means not only having access to information, but having the, 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 the skills to understand information and uh, understand it, create it, and understand the, the, the rules of the specific platforms where information is published. So, Every citizen wants to know and understand new information. So it's not possible censorship, for example. But information literacy and media and information literacy is not acquired at once. It's a lived and dynamic experience and process. So it, we need and we have the right to train our information, media and information literacy skills. Because if we are not able if we are not trained to understand information in this infosphere, in this digital world, we are, um, let's say, um, let's say, fable uh, citizens. We are weak citizens. We have not all the skills that, that are necessary to take decisions, to uh, create our future, to participate to social uh, and, and organized uh, life. So. Information literacy is a right and is a power for all of us. So trying to, um, to put together some, this, this, let's say, uh, uh, suggestions coming from uh, this very, very short analysis of what's happening. Uh, if we want to put together this engagement and involvement of uh, um, um, heritage communities and stakeholders, uh, with the role, with the, with the, with the dream, with the challenge of increasing the visibility of cultural, natural heritage in the infosphere, and at the same time wanting to adopt the, at its best the potentialities of the web and activating its collaborative features. So you, you, do you remember? We need that com heritage communities know and participate to the enhancement to the. Um, protection and to the transmission to future generations of the heritage. So the promotion and the preservation of cultural heritage and of the, uh, uh, say, the identifying signals, uh, the, 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 the identifying um, assets of their places. I think, and I propose to you, the um, strength and the opportunities open by Wikipedia. So the two goals together uh, um, can be synthesized into the choice of Wikimedia uh, ecosystem and Wikipedia encyclopedia to involve in, 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 uh, communities, 
increase the visibility in the infosphere of cultural, natural heritage, of cultural and uh, touristic destinations in general, adopting the best of the best possibilities opened by the world wide web. What is Wikipedia? Wikipedia is a digital ecosystem, very effective, in my opinion, for training information literacy skills. So it's a sort of, a, of gymnasium where we can go and uh, I mean, enforce our muscles, our information literacy muscles. By writing, we learn to read. By writing, we learn to understand information. We, it's, a, it's a gymnasium, it's a place where we can experiment um, uh, the, the dynamics, the positive dynamics of collaborative knowledge co-creation, activating practices of collective intelligence with a central uh, 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 um, condition, that is the principle that the value of knowledge has to be based on references. It's not enough uh, uh, to say, I think this, or, ah, it's clear, this is like this. We have to, uh, 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 to, to learn how to manage references. So what are the sources of my opinion? What are the sources of my definition? This is a central rule for science, and we, I mean, we teach us at university, we are involved at university, know that science is based on references, is based on what has been done before and what has been written before and the data produced. But in this uh, infosphere, in this uh, uh, big, wide um, uh, galaxy of information, it's very, very important that we highlight, that we insist on this rule. The uh, motto of Wikipedia, uh, written by his, uh, one of his uh, creators, Jimmy Wales, in 2001, is imagine a world in which every single human being can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. That's our commitment. And another interesting definition is be bold. Don't be afraid to collaborate. Don't be afraid to participate to collective intelligence. Be bold. So, Wikipedia comes from uh, experiments and, uh, and uh, projects uh, that have their origins in the 90s. So, uh, Wiki, Wiki Web uh, was created in 1995. Consider that the World Wide Web, the first browser, the first content on the World Wide Web, public content on the World Wide Web, date at 1994. So in the first year, someone was already thinking to something collaborative, wiki, wiki web. Wikipedia was launched in 2001 by Larry Page and Larry Singer. Uh, the name comes from this wiki, wiki bus. There is the bus, so, so you see tourism that comes, uh, comes up. That is the bus that goes from the um, airport of Honolulu to the city of Honolulu, so from the airport of Hawaii to the city of Honolulu. Wiki, wiki in, in Hawaiian means fast and easy, so something that you are not to, to think about that, you are not to wait, it's fast and easy. So uh, the, the, word, the word Wikipedia, the name Wikipedia comes from this wiki wiki uh, um, bus uh, with the addition of pedia, pedia means education come from Greek, ancient Greek. So learning, teaching in a fast and easy way. Uh, uh, everyone in, in now, since the beginning of Wikipedia, this is one of the rules that never changed, everyone can create, edit, and use web pages using any web browser. Some numbers of Wikipedia now, these are numbers that I just checked yesterday. We have at the moment 312 language editions. They are not national editions, so be careful. Language edition, so can be edited by international communities. Is the first 
the fifth most popular site in the world. So it has a very high ranking. So the others are <laughs> Amazon, Google, Facebook. So try to think what kind of, 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 of competition is this. So an open, uh, no profit project in uh, competition with this extraordinary strong uh, project and, and company. At the moment, in the old Wikipedia, there are more than 55 million articles, so voices, our name, so we can copy that, with uh, to, to 226 million pages. There are pages of help, of support, uh, projects, uh, um, um, portals, and so on. But what is the core of Wikipedia? Are the articles. All these the words uh, underlined in, in, in blue, in um, Azure, are links. You are links, so you can um, uh, go and, and visit them and check the, the, the updated numbers. Uh, if we consider the three languages of the communities involved in the d projects, uh, Italiano is the, at the eighth place in the, in the, in the uh, ranking of uh, language editions with a number according to the number of articles. In Italiano we have uh, 1 million six, six, uh, hundred and fifty one and so on articles. In Spanish, in Espanol, uh, 1 million six hundred and forty one, so more or less the same. In Polsky, 1 million four, four hundred and thirty nine articles. So, very so. The first one is English. The second one is Cebuano. It is language of the Philippines, for example, in terms of number of articles. So try to reflect about that. So the Philippines, in, in, they invested a lot of efforts, a lot of activity to support the Wikipedia as uh, uh, I mean, a platform, a place where to uh, enhance, where to support their uh, places, their, uh, their heritage, their identity, national identity. Uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia is managed by the Wikimedia Foundation, founded in San Francisco. It's a non-profit mission. It lives just after donations and the voluntary activity of, uh, of people. Its mission is to promote Wikipedia and related projects, to foster the development and dissemination of free knowledge in general. So it's involved also in other projects, um, to manage the fundraising and management of the of the, of the projects and of course the hardware management because when we say that the, the, the digital information is, uh, it, 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 it is I mean immaterial it's not the true digital information needs hardware needs places where, to, where these zeros and ones are written so the servers of Wikipedia are in the United States and in Netherlands at the moment, at the moment. Um, in some uh, nations, in some states, uh, some national Wikimedia associations or foundations were founded. For example, Wikimedia Italia, Wikimedia Spagna, Wikimedia Polska Association, and so on and so forth. They, may, they support the, the mission of the, of the, the, the word Wikimedia Foundation with national projects. Um, what are the numbers of people involved in Wikimedia platform? 93 millions of you editors. These are not the readers of Wikipedia. There are millions and hundred millions every day. There are users, editors, people that even once changed something, added something to a Wikipedia article. 93 millions of people. Uh, among these, 93 million, so 1 million are active users. So people that have changed, uh, that, that they have performed something in the last week. And 4,000 admins. Admins are those who are managing the, the robots, the software activities, they are, I mean, the sort of watchers, quality watchers of Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia is based on uh, uh, five uh, principles, pillars, the five pillars of Wikipedia. The first one is Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. Uh, so it's not that uh, 
that uh, it, it implies a lot of a lot of a lot of consequence. For example, that it's not a I mean uh, an order collections aggregation of everything on every uh, uh, contents on everything. Being an encyclopedia means considering some some rules, some requirements. What is worth to be uh, uh, described inside an encyclopedia? Something very recent, for example, or very, very, very local, maybe, is not worth to be published. Or um, the opinions, personal opinions, and so on. Being an encyclopedia means um, watching uh, some requirements, some rules that, of course, change from time to time. Um, to guarantee the quality of an encyclopedia. The second one, Wikipedia is written from a neutral point of view. It adopts and supports the neutral point of view principles. Of course, it's a utopia, it's a, it's a dream, and it's and all the, 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 the Wikipedians, all the people involved in Wikipedia, not just the admins, but also the users, are dedicate a lot of time to uh, guarantee that the neutral point of view is guaranteed, is, 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 is respected. So every uh, opinion, in, in case there are different opinions on the same topic, different opinions have to be uh, cited, have to be quoted, have to be considered inside Wikipedia. The third pillar is that Wikipedia is free is free content that anyone can use, edit, and distribute. This means being free, open, and cozy. That means that, that it's not, uh, Wikipedia will never ask for money, for example, to consult, to use, to use, or to participate to uh, its projects. The fourth pillar is that um, Wikipedia's editors, so Wikipedians, should treat each other with respect and civility. It's a gymnasium of information literacy and it's a gymnasium of respect. We have to respect the opinions of others. We have to respect the expectations, the, the, the suggestions, the, even the weakness of others. So we have to learn to be active listeners of others' point of view and um, uh, and to respect Wikipedia. It, it's not fair to say it's the fault of Wikipedia if my opinions are not uh, considered. The fifth pillar is that Wikipedia has no firm rules except these five pillars. So all the rules may change. Le uh, looking, uh, I mean, fo following the changes of society, the, change that, the changes that Community, the community of Wikipedia, these 93 million uh, um, people would, would decide to, to, to change. But those rules will never be changed. It's an encyclopedia, it adopts a neutral point of view, it is free and open, it is based on uh, 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 collective respect, um, and uh, it has open, it's open to society. Uh, challenges. What does it mean exactly to be free? Uh, this is very uh, in interesting to be considered. Wikipedia adopts a specific license on how what can how uh, uh, its uh, its contents can be used. So uh, Wikipedia uh, it, it looks <laughs> it seems to to be a paradox. Uh, I mean, in the, according to the common sense, but you Wikipedians are very serious about copyright respect. It's not, I mean, a, a, a revolutionary <laughs> uh, uh, movement against copyright. That means that all the content, text, images, data, videos, presentations, and so on and so forth, is released under an international license based on Creative Commons, the CC BY SA. What does it mean, CC BY SA? It's a license, it's a public license, um, uh, available in all the languages of the world. This is the Creative Commons project um, mission. Creative Commons is a set of licenses on creative content. BY stays for attribution, so 
all the content, uh, in, you know, for all the content, the authorship must be quoted. I downloaded and reused that image, for example, this one, uh, because I downloaded it from Wikimedia Commons, from Wikipedia. And if there's an author, I have to uh, quote the author. Share alike as A uh, stands for uh, uh, the um, obligation to adopt, to respect the same conditions. If I uh, um, share with you, and I will share with you my, my, this presentation, this file, I have to, I, I will never ask for you to, to use money because I, uh, of course, I made my work, but I'm paid to, to be a teacher at the University of Macerata, and all the images uh, or, or materials and data that I uh, inserted in my slides are is taken from Wikipedia. Mostly, most of the, it is taken from Wikipedia, and so I downloaded it for free, and I have to disseminate it for free. Uh, another important uh, um, uh, requirement, another important rule is that there are no constraints on every possible reuse, even commercial. This is co-creation. This is the real, uh, real support of creative co-creation sites. If I want to print this image on a, on a, on a t-shirt, if I want to change it and make uh, the no uh, uh, sculpture or a lamp or, or something or, or you know a gadget out of this image, so with this word. The, in the, in the hands and so on, I'm free to do it. I have just to quote the authorship and adopt the same condition. So the same image has to be disseminated for free, but a, a, a co-creation, a creative recreation, starting from this image, can be also sell. So this is uh, different from the Italian law on copyright, where the images of cultural heritage and the images of landscapes are not free to be uh, reused for commercial purposes. We have to ask permission for it. I already uh, quoted somewhere Wikimedia Commons. So the, all the multimedia, uh, multimedia content in uh, the, multi, the Wikimedia environment, the Wikimedia ecosystem is contain this person inside this uh, digital archive that is called Wikimedia Commons. It's possible to consult it, it's possible to download different versions, different qualities of the same images. At the moment there are 65, almost 66 million files in Wikimedia Commons. They are all produced, uploaded by users freely by users. They can be, all these files can be used by all, inside all other Wikipedia projects. So the Encyclopedia, Wikipedia, another project I will, I'm going to, to present you, but also everywhere else, anywhere else, by everyone. Um, one of the projects that I think can be interesting for you to know is Wikivoyage. Wikivoyage is a sort of an encyclopedia where the articles are touristic guides. So it was launched in September 2006 when editors of the German and then Italian version of Wiki Travel, Wiki Travel was the project before Wiki Voyage. Um, there are at the moment 600,000 guides of different qualities, just one, one fifth of them are of high quality. There are 22 language versions. The first one is English, the second German, the fourth Italian, uh, 11 Spanish, and 17 Romanian. Uh, the Italian version is here, but you can, of course, navigate all the different versions. Uh, on in general, Wikivoyage are to almost uh, uh, 2 million and uh, 500 uh, registered users uh, have edited um, something even once, and 1,000 people are active. So, uh, share, collaborative, open touristic guides. So, uh, uh, touristic guides, uh, guide of course, uh, can be dedicated to a specific place, to a specific destination, also uh, to an itinerary, uh, travel topics, uh, um, uh, 
collaborative networks and so on. Everything is written by volunteers and may, maybe you can guess the importance of involving stakeholders uh, uh, involved in, in interested in, in tourism uh, by in the updating and in the good management of Wikivoyage articles of Wikivoyage um, um, guides because uh, in a Wikivoyage uh, article, in a Wikivoyage guide, is possible, is uh, 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 you are allowed to uh, write about the commercial information, for example, the reception facilities of the uh, um, touristic destinations. Um, so uh, it's a sort of storytelling. It's possible to insert maps, uh, to um, spread word of mouth, uh, to, uh, I mean, to make real marketing on uh, touristic destinations. Another interesting project is it, uh, uh, Wikilove's Monuments. Wikilove's Monuments, in a, it's a photo contest that it was launched uh, in uh, uh, 2000, 2009, if I'm not wrong. It's a photo contest organized annually in September with the support of UNESCO Unite for Heritage program, whose pur purpose is to collect on Wikimedia Commons, which is on the multimedia digital archives of Wikipedia, images of world cultural heritage and landscapes. Uh, uh, so during September every year, I organized a lot of wiki uh, photo tours. Uh, so trying to um, involve, engage local communities, local photographers to uh, uh, document their, their, their places, their villages, their cities, their beaches, their landscapes, so to, re to, to support the visibility in the web of the places they love, the places they feel as uh, their heritage, and so and so, uh, 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 at the same time, enforce destinations with digital visibility. Since 2011, uh, Wikilove's Monuments has entered as, in the Guinness Book Record as the largest photo contest in the world. Just to cite, just to quote, one year, September 2004, every year there are more, more images and more photographers. In, in 2004, one million photos were uploaded. In 2018, for example, just in one year, 265 photos participated, and hundreds of photographers everywhere in the world. So, why Wikipedia and Wikimedia ecosystem can be an interesting uh, uh, place on which to base uh, to, to build um, educational um, activities in universities. First of all, I think it's interesting to discuss with students uh, and I mean, even among uh, teachers, among faculty, the question of top-down dynamics of knowledge creation. We are, I mean, we aware that all our activities are based on the uh, um, top-down dynamics. So it's more important who's the author uh, in comparison with the quality of what the author wrote. We are asked to write more and more, to publish more and more, to publish in the right places. This, this uh, I mean, cascade uh, of, of, of content um, created some contradictions, some paradoxes. For example, that we have not the time anymore to read everything that could be interesting for us. And we sometimes discover that we read the same things in different papers, for example, because to uh, build our careers, we need to, we need, we are asked to, to quantity more than quantity. It can be interesting to discuss among us and with students that even some bottom up dynamics can be considered. For example, putting on the top the content, the quality of content instead that the position of authors. It's a long discussion, but just to say to you what could be 
the, I mean, the suggestions of uh, working inside Wikipedia. Another key uh, 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 central uh, um, um, points to discuss and to, to, to discuss on is the role of sources. Wikipedia have to be based on sources, and the source needs to be referenced. So bibliography, footnotes, uh, um, Wikipedia, we have to say, it's a great place to start, not to end research. So students have to know it. I allow my students to put in their footnotes, in their dissertations, um, quotes of Wikipedia. But just if they need some definitions, it needs some standard definitions, of course, it's not true. It's the synthesis of, in, in the case of good articles, it's the synthesis of knowledge about that topic in that moment. So this role of sources uh, for science and for person, even for personal, uh, I mean, uh, literacy skills uh, is important to be underlined and to experiment on it. Uh, um, from the pedagogical point of view, I'm not a pedagogist, so I would be very, very simple uh, about that we have the opportunity to develop at the same time disciplinary skills so topic um, uh, skills based on specific competences of course these disciplinary the disciplines are not the official disciplines of university but they depend on the topics we are considering and on the sources available on the topic if we are writing about a city a village, uh, 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 an island, uh, uh, and so on, we have to put together different disciplinary skills. Uh, I mean, uh, organizational, um, cultural, uh, technical, uh, geographical, and so on, and so forth. If we are writing down an article on a certain formula, <laughs> mathematical formula we need to be we need to have some uh, competences on mathematics otherwise we will write just a, a bad uh, article that no one will consider or that will be cancelled maybe by administrators uh, we are we, we have the opportunity to develop also soft skills learn to learn critical thinking collaboration so this respect of the others respect of the opinions of the support of the roles of the others working together, the respect of diversity, of di different opinions, and the perception of how knowledge is, can be built. So the dynamics of the creation and the transformation of knowledge. But I think it's very, very uh, fascinating and very, um, I mean, suggestion, suggesting for, for students. We, 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 have, we, we will develop media and information literacy in the sense that UNESCO documents um, uh, speak, activate hands-on and collaborative labs, hands-on. So we learn by doing something, not just to listen to the presentation of something, and collaborative labs, learn by collaborating in digital environments. So facing with more uh, awareness and, uh, and strength the digital challenges of uh, present times. As regards Wikimedia and tourism, we, 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 we talk a lot about that. We just I mean, quote some points, some questions. First, consider the high, the very high ranking of Wikimedia content and data, much, much more than any website there to dream. If we uh, look for a, a, a name of the person, of a person, we look for a name of a place, of a village, one of the first results, often the first result on Google, is the Wikipedia article. That is available in different languages, so I, why not investing on, on working on the quality, high quality of that Wikipedia article or Wikivoyage touristic guide if we want to uh, support uh, the, the place branding, the destination branding, the destination uh, ranking. 
Wikimedia, Wikipedia uh, uh, has a, a, a sort of, uh, of um, agreement, stable agreement, with another important project that is called OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap is a crowd sources geodata, it's a collaborative map of the world, sort of Google Maps, with the difference that it's open. Not just open because we add uh, the, the, I mean, the, the localization of our home, uh, of our office, of uh, I mean, of the restaurant, and we leave some uh, 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 opinions about the restaurant. But it's open in the sense that we can download locally the geodata. Uh, geodata. For example, if we are a municipality, we can build on OpenStreetMap because I don't know the map of uh, um, dustbins the map of uh, uh, offices and so on. It's possible to insert in any Wikipedia article, in any Wikimedia, in any Wikivoyage guide maps and add the, uh, the, the details on places we uh, want to describe inside the guide or inside the article. Uh, another interesting uh, opportunity is Querpedia, Querpedia. It's a QR code system, uh, the Wikipedia project, to deliver Wikipedia articles to users in their preferred language. So you see, you can add to your uh, signal, touristic signals or cultural touristic signals uh, a QR code that goes directly for user, goes directly to the Wikipedia article or to a part of, the, of, of a Wikipedia article. Um, just to quote one of the many, um, in 2009, uh, uh, scientific research that was titled Wikipedia Matters documented a casual impact, casual, ca causal, sorry, so a, a, a real, an effective, and measurable impact of online user generated information in Wikipedia on real world economic outcomes, in particular. Uh, as regards tourist choices of overnight visits. The, the research was made on some articles on some uh, destina touristic destination in Spain, um, uh, available in different languages. So they observed and measured the impact of, uh, of the presence, of the existence of those, um, of those articles on the increasing of uh, uh, tourists uh, going to from from abroad, uh, from so from the languages abroad, uh, from uh, England, uh, uh, Holland, uh, Netherlands, uh, France, uh, uh, Germany, towards those uh, uh, destinations. Uh, let's go to the projects of. Uh, uh, University of Macerata around Wikipedia. Uh, most of those projects started uh, immediately after the uh, terrible earthquake that affected the, our territories in 2016. Uh, so the project, uh, the first project was this uh, Glam Wiki Appennino Centro Italia, Central Italy Appennines project. Uh, the idea was to uh, involve communities and stakeholders uh, with, uh, I mean, coordination roles from uh, assigned to university and to, to faculty to help to support the territories hit by the seismic series of 2016 to enhance the Wikimedia content on places, heritage, identity assets, and destinations. Uh, to uh, buy the uh, oblivion on those territories, to um, and buy the uh, oblivion of their assets, of their characteristics, of what are the identity uh, signs that uh, of those uh, of the mountain uh, territory. So a bottom-up process, not based on the idea that experts, faculty, write uh, or I mean modify, enhance. Wikipedia articles, but uh, faculty and experts are, um, I mean, facilitators, are tutors, support, organize events, uh, uh, and so on to 
uh, activate uh, communities. Um, so the university has the role of promoting the engagement of citizens and stakeholders involved and to control the quality of lexicons and content. Some numbers after three years, more or less, three years and a half, 700 people involved, university, high school students, uh, university students, librarians, professors, practitioners, citizens, companies, among whom uh, 140 acted as ed Wikipedia ed editors. They uh, started to be Wikipedians to participate to the announcements and to the collective intelligence represented by Wikipedia. 40 brand new Wikipedia articles produced about villages, people, events, churches, museums, libraries, monuments and artworks, typical products, recipes, wine, sales, 26 touristic guides, new touristic guides in Wikivoyage, or uh, uh, announcements of touristic guides already existing. Almost 2,000 photographs uploaded for Wikilove's monuments from 2017 to 2020. One ancient book up, uh, uh, uploaded, so uh, um, 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 read by OCR, so published, let's say, in an in a, uh, image and in a textual version on Wikisoon. It's an ancient book conserved in a library of one of the cities of our, our mountains um, regarding uh, an important uh, uh, personage of those places. So, the history, the local history uh, uh, supported. Uh, every year inside uh, one of my, uh, the course of cultural heritage and tourism, so the undergraduate course of the cultural heritage and tourism, since 2017, I organized a collaborative tourism lab from students, so around 40, 50 students every year, that uh, were asked to create or enhance, study, create, enhance, collect sources about uh, places, if I, uh, touristic destinations, about the central Appellines area. So villages, itinerary, special cultural attractions using Wikivoyage. Uh, the, the, the class was were divided every year, I divide them in groups of three, four uh, students, that I had to select content collect content from the right sources, so study the available sources in the sense our librarians support us in the, the collection of, of books, uh, touristic guides and so on, um, georeferentiate the attractions, so uh, to, to define inside the OpenStreetMap maps where churches are, where the touristic office, the DMO is, where the I don't know, the, 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 the public post office is, and so on. And, of course, at the end, to write and up, um, up, say, update the guides. Uh, in 2018, we organized, me and together with a colleague, Professor Giuseppe Capriotti, the art historian, and with the support of a professor of Italian language, Maila Bentucci, and, of course, with the uh, support of our librarians, a workshop uh, inside the, the artistic geography uh, course, we focused on sources, the choice of the right sources, on the quality of content, and on the use of the right language. The question of language is a long, uh, it's a very interesting question as well, because writing for an encyclopedia is not the same than writing for a scientific essay, scientific paper, and it's not the same as writing for, I don't know, a blog, inside a blog, or, or, or a newspaper and so on. We have to be um, concise, but precise, clear, so uh, uh, encyclopedia article have to be ready to be read by everyone, understood by everyone, so not to, we have not to use too many jargon, jargon uh, words and so on. We decided to concentrate on the cultural heritage of Visso, the town that was epicenter of the 2016 earthquake is almost destroyed. And now, after four years, it's almost destroyed. 
So 10 students were involved. We worked for 12 hours and we created two brand new Wikipedia well references, so high quality articles, I may say. One on the Museum of Civic and, uh, and, and in Bishop Museum of Visso, that was uh, inside, was, was, I may say, inside uh, uh, a convent that all, almost crashed down. And one on, uh, on uh, artwork, Madonna del Voto, uh, it's, um, it's one of these artworks, uh, it's a fresco, that is still, we know, that we are st still inside this almost crashed museum. So yet risk of definitive loss. And it's very important uh, image of, of Madonna, uh, um, of Saint Mary, uh, very, very important for the local cult, uh, for the devo devotion of the local community. Uh, another interesting workshop was that about a recipe, Vinci's Gracia la Maceratesa. The Italian Academy of Cooking, together with the University of Macerata and other experts, uh, local experts, have asked in 2018 the traditional special speciality guaranteed European quality grant for the Vinci's Grassi alla Maceratesi. It's a, it's a specific uh, recipe on local recipe on of lasagne. You probably all know what lasagne uh, are. In 2019, with students and experts of the High School of Anor Astronomy and Tourism of Cingoli the town nearby Macerata, Girolamo Varnelli, we organized a workshop to edit, to write a brand new article on this recipe that is called Vinci's Grassi alla Maceratese, and then later was presented in a public event. So you see, it is worth to have an encyclopedic article on this local uh, recipe. And so we could write a very good and well-referenced uh, article. Um, during the international student competition in 2019, the international student competition on place branding and Mediterranean diet, uh, we organized uh, during the student competition one day of a wiki editaton. Editaton is a word that uh, refers to uh, an edit uh, uh, event where a lot of people is uh, asked to wrote, to write on of, and to work on some topics, some article. It was organized uh, in two times, in the morning in the city of Ripa Tranzone, that is the uh, Marche region, and in the Cocci Grifone winery that hosted us and uh, very, very kindly to work on the um, articles on Pecorino grape. It's a uh, local uh, uh, grape, very interesting. The very uh, 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 interesting, I mean, also, also well spread uh, wine and grape uh, here in Italy and I, I hope uh, elsewhere. So, 40 people among University of Macerata students and international students work together on the Wikipedia articles about Ripa Tranzone and Pecorino in English and in Italian, so four articles in uh, summary. And on the Wiki Voyage Touristic Guide about Ripa Tranzone. Uh, last summer, uh, within the Wiki Appennino Centro Italia project and inside this DTEMP project, uh, me and Professor Capriotti, our graduate quarter dean, it's a friend that we are working a lot with him, it's an art historian, after 10 years of the canonization of Sister Battista da Varano, that is not just, I mean, a saint, I mean, just a mystic, but it was the most excellent mystical writer. She was a writer of the Marca Renaissance, so from the end of the 15th and the beginning of the, uh, sorry, with the end of the, yeah, the 15th and the beginning of the 16th century. We organized a residential workshop, workshop inside the monastery of the Clarisse in Camerino that hosted us with a very generous and kind way. This three days workshop was reserved to university students, PhD students and postdocs in literary, historical, documentary and historical artistic topic subjects, disciplines. The goal was to build, update and implement referenced Wikipedia articles on Santa Camilla Battista da Marano in Italian, so on the saints, her life, uh, her works, uh, the iconography of, 
about her, uh, her uh, tech, uh, uh, literary, work, literary works, and so on. On the monastery of Santa Chiara di Camerino, the monastery of the Clarisse in Camerino, that is a monastery of the uh, 15th century, and on the wooden coil inside the monastery that is very, very important for both for to represent the, 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 San, the Santa Camilla Battista da Varano visions and uh, uh, as the techniques, I mean, the wooden uh, techniques, high techniques in that period. Uh, last, last, I mean, two months uh, in October and November 2020, inside the Advanced English Language Lab, inside the Masters for the stu Master Students of Cultural Heritage Management here at the university, together with, so with the teacher of, uh, of, uh, um, of this uh, English language lab, we organized a group work with the goal of creating the English version of the Italian Wikipedia article on Camilla da Barano. So not just translating, but versioning, because uh, another language asks for different organization of phrases, for example, and the sources, the references had to be changed we can't create an English article just putting all Italian references, just Italian bibliography. This means that most of the people from other uh, countries, for example, from the States, Canada, Australia, England, may are not allowed to reach those sources, to reach those uh, bibliography papers and books. So the students, um, literally translated the text first, reviewed links, references, and bibliography, discussed and completed a glossary on discipline jargon words, for example, about iconography, about devotion, about saints, and so on. Very, very interesting experience. And uh, it would be part of the program, I mean, of the official program for this uh, um, this course for this English language course. Um, I compiled a very short bibliography references uh, about the, the topics that I covered during this presentation. So, from the book of uh, Levi, Intelligence Collective, to the um, re recent article on the first 20 years, it just opens up out in some days first 20 years of teaching Wikipedia from faculty enemy to faculty enable. enable. This is open, open source uh, accessible. Um, the Wikipedia Matters article is available and some other books and uh, um, articles or journals uh, covering those issues. Thank you. Uh, this is directed especially teachers, so I don't know if there are still some teachers among you, uh, Amanda and some others, Gigliola and so on. Uh, uh, so um, I divided these, uh, the topics of this discussion into, split them into, the first one is uh, uh, what could be the ICT approaches at university, especially uh, in case you adopt uh, wiki platforms. So, uh, because wiki software is an uh, open source software and it can be, um, I mean, installed, implemented also locally, so out of the public web. So, uh, a lot of software projects, for example, product projects, uh, are creating wikis to replace, for example, uh, help help guide guidelines about software, about products. So uh, directed to teachers, uh, um, are you using, so consider it to you if whether to use local software, so local wiki software or web platform. So to share uh, directly on the web uh, or indirectly on the web, the, the work you are doing. And as regards wiki, what is wiki software? Uh, so I presented you very, very briefly the, the, the history and the main features of Wikipedia and some other projects. And as regards wiki, so using local wiki uh, platform or Wikimedia platforms. Uh, 
just to uh, make some examples. For example, the, the learning uh, environment, uh, digital learning environment we use at our university that is called OLAT. Inside OLAT, it's uh, like Moodle, or just to quote another one very popular, inside OLAT or inside Moodle, it's possible to create wikis. It's possible to organize, organize with students, with groups of students, uh, collaborative projects, collaborative um, goals uh, using the wiki software. So sharing the same pages, working together on the same pages. I didn't, I haven't quoted for you uh, another interesting project that can be used uh, uh, at university that is called Wikibooks. Uh, it's possible to build up a book uh, co collectively, uh, collaboratively. Some colleagues, colleagues at universities are working on this. So every year they invite their students to collaborate, to write as, as well as the minimum of a para paragraph of a book, of a sort of, let's say, handbook about uh, specific topics. This is another way of involving students in writing, uh, uh, in, I mean, training uh, their uh, scientific uh, uh, capacity to, to write, the, the scientific jargon, their um, information literacy in finding, uh, finding, selecting, finding, and quoting sources and in writing. Um, I would have liked to discuss with you uh, about the, your perception of Wikimedia and Wikipedia projects, because we know that in academic, uh, 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 say, environments, communities, there's, uh, there is a, a diffused mistrust about Wikipedia, especially here in Italy, but not, not, not just in Italy. And uh, uh, the difference between this distrust and the level of awareness we have about uh, this, uh, no, sorry, it was better before. <laughs> um, the level of awareness we have, so sometimes it's a sort of prejudice uh, uh, about w Wikipedia not knowing how it works and what we can do with it. And then I would have liked to end. I mean, I launch, <laughs> I throw the, 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 the questions and maybe we can uh, find other, other occasions to discuss them about the issues and opportunities at universities. Issues because we need uh, a media lab, uh, we need to some uh, uh, cares about uh, the, uh, for example, the, the necessity to not to uh, work on Wikipedia without registering to it, because there are some robots, there are I mean, some watching dogs of Wikipedia that control uh, if uh, they, they, they may uh, match a, 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 a high number of connections coming from the same lab, coming from the same IP, from the same address, internet address, and they can stop the and I mean, control and uh, uh, stop the traffic from that IP. So we have to register. We have to give the, the, the role of a coordinator to one uh, person in each group, just to give them, give him, her the, the, the role to, to edit, to write directly, while the others are collecting sources, are rewriting and looking for sources and so on. Opportunities. I think that I uh, uh, um, insisted more on them uh, during uh, my presentation, but a lot of other topics can be can be can be discussed. Are there some uh, uh, opinions, doubts? Uh, um, I mean, cases to, to be to be shared about those those questions or what software to use? Uh, what your what where your where or is your I mean opinion uh, about Wikipedia your mistrust your doubts uh, um, the cases of application of Wikipedia at university uh, 
Hello, uh, hi, I'm Laura Catalini. I'm a PhD uh, student here in Macerata at the University of uh, the Department of Education. Um, Thank you, Laura. I, I just have a question. So these uh, topics, are we going to uh, um, be divided in uh, uh, groups and discuss it in small groups or is a like debate, open debate, and we can uh, uh, try to answer these questions um, or just one of, the, of these questions. Maybe it I misunderstood something. A, no, it should be per Luigi, a general discussion in, in this room. Yes, maybe. yes, it is. We have, yeah. we have okay. just not enough time to organize to split in groups and work on groups. It was just, a, I, I called it focus group because I wanted to, to discuss and, and to collect your opinions, I, doubts I, and experiences. I. Uh, especially this is a teacher training event so it was directed especially to teachers so i would have liked to listen to some other cases or other experiences elsewhere than university of macerata so so say whatever you you think and uh, make your questions if you have them and so we are here to discuss all together thank you anyway for I your I see. Well, uh, then I, I have a few points <laughs> to discuss. Um, okay. I'm not a teacher at the moment, but I've been teaching Italian uh, to uh, foreigners and uh, it was very, very interesting. So I totally see this exercise as a way, um, as an exercise for language learning, like to build a, a um, uh, and it's a Wikipedia entry uh, for with the students. I mean, as I said, I'm not a teacher at the moment, but I I did an internship in uh, at the, um, Manchester University, um, pardon, uh, Metropolitan Manchester University, and it was very interesting. And uh, second point, uh, I always saw um, I've always seen um, Wikipedia as something far away but thanks to your presentation that uh, idea was totally um, um, changed because uh, seeing that there are so many projects uh, about our mountains our in um, our region it was really uh, it was awesome <laughs> so thank you and never uh, enough never enough <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, uh, while you were talking, I had um, quite a few ideas. So um, thank you for sharing this information with, with us. Uh, third point, which is linked to my second, uh, how do we become uh, editors? I mean, I'm not a student, a regular student in high school anymore. But um, uh, I think it would be a very good writing exercise. Uh, something that you said at the beginning was really struck me. And you said uh, something about the exercise of, of writing. I mean, you, you learn writing by writing. And I think it's totally true. I think we don't do enough writing during our um, MA or, uh, or even BA because, uh, well, this is my personal experience, but I really struggle, struggled with writing my PhD, my, uh, well, I hope I will not struggle writing my PhD thesis, but I struggled in the past with the other two theses. So um, I know that the structure of an entry for Wikipedia is totally different from, uh, from, uh, from a thesis, but, you know, writing is, writing an Wikipedia entry could be very useful anyway. So. How do we become part of these projects, even if we are, let, let's say, outsiders? So, yeah, these are my yeah, three points. Yes. Thank you very, very much. Very, very interesting points. Um, I, so I try to answer. Um, thank you for, uh, so, so for this, uh, I mean, split from uh, something far away to something that you uh, now probably are aware it's yours. So you can use it. What in, in, in? I mean, you 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 can use it uh, inside a community in in the mm -hmm. way you prefer. Uh, mm -hmm. Writing in Wikipedia means writing, having I mean a very wide audience of other Wikipedia users, readers, and editors who ra read in I mean synchronously what you are writing down. 
So this means that we have to be very, very careful. And this is, I think, a very interesting training experience, even for students that are writing dissertations. So not just uh, past and copy from wherever Wikipedia included, but being very careful in building up a structure, choosing, selecting uh, the, the, the right content in the right uh, place inside the article, inside the entry. Um, as regards the question of language, I'm not an expert, uh, maybe Amanda, the colleague Amanda can support us in, in, in this discussion, but what I may say is that the experience I had together with my colleague, historian of art, and our, my colleague, uh, uh, teacher of Italian language, was very, very interesting. So try to guess, um, uh, we divided the, the, the group, uh, the, 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 the students participated to the workshop in groups, into groups. They, uh, I mean, we're working on different parts, different sections of the two, the two articles. We were working in a draft to draft version. I hadn't said that it's possible in Wikipedia. Each editor, so you just you can you have just to register with a nickname and a password. If you want, you can register your email too. If you want to be, uh, I mean, informed, warned about what's happening for example on the articles you were working on on the articles you signed uh, as uh, interesting for you and so on um, you every every register user have a sandbox area sandbox means a draft area where uh, we can create draft versions of new voices or i mean just uh, annotate content that we are interested in, we may can make our own bibliography just to remember we have to work, I just, I found these articles, I found this paper, I found this book, I found these pictures, uh, these images in Wikimedia Commons, we can leave, I mean, traces. Um, the, um, the draft area in Wikipedia is public, because everything in Wikipedia is public, all the interventions, all the editing actions are registered. And for each uh, voice of Wikipedia, you see the, 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 the version, the public version. You have the chronology of everything that happened on the voice. So who did what when. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to pre previous versions of the articles if you're interested in. And then it's possible to open up a discussion there are some controversial, uh, let's say, um, articles um, that are, uh, they have very, very intense discussion. I was reading an article yesterday on Wired, for example, Wired.it. Uh, um, no, no, it was not Wired, it was Ilpost.it, where they were discussing about the group of people who's working on the uh, climate change article in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You try to guess how is important, how is, what is the intensity of reading and in trying to, to, uh, to change this article. Um, uh -huh. There's a group of editors, yeah, try, it's, it's a group of editors that are, some of them are scientists, ex experts in climatology, but it's also, I mean, private people who's just interested in those topics. They're trying to be, to, control the traffic and control the, uh, the um, let's say, um, uh, violent intervention to change uh, the, the content, like adding a word, uh, a phrase like uh, the climate change is, uh, is a fake, uh, everything is all to the same, uh, yes. nothing is changing and so on. Eh? Or quoting uh, false studies, uh, fake news and so on. Um, so there's a discussion, and the discussion there is very, very important because the, this group of experts are trying to uh, uh, um, um, control, I mean, to coordinate the editors and the wide number of editors working on that article. So what you can do, you have just to register. You, in that from that moment on, you, you, you just, you can just, uh, you can modify the, the articles you're interested in, even changing the orthography, for example, 
or I mean adding uh, references. Uh, try to see the, 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 the article Macerata in Italian. Mm -hmm. Since four years, there's a warning message on the top that's writing this article is not good. This article has no references. This article has no bibliography. So I, I could change it because I'm, I mean, I can, I can be considered an expert on Wikipedia and on cultural heritage. On, but I, I left it to the community. Every time I present Wikipedia in Macerata, I always say, please work on this article. But no one <laughs> did. So just, just to say what you can do. Um, as regards, sorry, I, I changed the, 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 the I moved to, to another topic. As regards the Italian the language, uh, when we were working with these groups, every change, every uh, phrase written by the, the groups were uh, projected, uh, were, were shown to the others in the room, in the teacher's room, and we were used to read it and say, Mm, it's not that clear. Why have put all these articles, all these attributes to this, uh, to this noun, for example? Mm -hmm. don't, don't you see that it's too uh, bombastic, that the phrase is not that clear? Make it more mm -hmm. clear. And the, 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 the writers were open to discussion because we were peers. We were all in the room. There were no teachers and students, but everybody where we were discussing about, I mean, a product of every of, of the group, a collaborative project, the collaborative mm -hmm. project. The idea of discussing something collaborative make people more open to changes and to suggestions. So this can be very, very interesting. So I hope that I answer to some of your doubts. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. If you're interested to collaborate with a Wiki Appennino Centro Italia project, please write to me and we will find a way to, to collaborate in, in some way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do it. And thank you it. very much. And thank you very much. Amanda. <coughs> hi. Hi, Pierluigi. How are you? Well, I'm Amanda hi. Salvioni. I'm a teacher in Macerata University. And, um, well, I, I really never used Wikipedia in such an active way and uh, actually I'm, I'm here to learn <laughs> and I learned a lot of things and I'm really grateful to you and to your presentation. Uh, I'm, I'm processing all the information you gave us and um, I'm reflecting on the consideration you have made about languages. Um, first of all I was struck by the statistics on the languages most present in, in Wiki. Mm. Uh, Italian and Spanish share almost the same position in the ranking when Spanish has more than 500 million speakers and I think is the second or the third language on the web. So what, what, what do you think about it? Uh, which is the, the, the really the, the cause of, of this strange uh, ranking about mm. languages in, in the wiki uh, context. Um, and the second point is the neutral point of view that Wikipedia promote for the articles to publish. Um, I think it's very hard to, to obey this rule. Um, and it is very hard to obey this rule and much more difficult to control the quality of the text in this sense. Um, I think that this um, topic opens a very huge problem on language and on communication and information, etc. But I remember uh, recently I happened to read um, a Wikipedia article about a local product. I think it was a fruit or something like that. And it seemed to me that this article was more like an advertisement or an institutional communication from a local company than an encyclopedia entry. Um, so I'm very curious about uh, how really um, uh, editors um, or, or Wikipedia authorities um, 
can can control and can judge uh, this topic of the neutral points of view that's, that doesn't exist. <laughs> neutral points of view. Huh? So you're, you're Okay. Yeah, I so, think it's an utopia. Yeah. So, thank you, Amanda. Very interesting questions. First, the question of ranking of languages, language versions in terms of number of uh, of articles. That yeah. was the ranking I quote, because there are, there are other rankings, number of editors, for example, number of active users. So. Uh -huh. that may, maybe try, we have to, I mean, to match different data to understand it, to try to give an answer to your uh, interesting uh, uh, question and doubt. So I, I have no, an, uh, not an answer. What I can say is that um, there are some language communities more interested and more active on Wikipedia and some others uh, less interested because of mistrust, because of, uh, um, I think also of, of the uh, spreading the word inside the educational institutions, for example. In Italy, we have um, historical uh, mistrust about Wikipedia in, uh, uh, at university. Um, but we have a, a, a very, very wide communities that want to cooperate. We have a tradition of volunteer volunteers. So we want to be uh, helpful and uh, useful to the others in some way, part of our us. Um, so yeah, that created a lot of content. In Spanish, uh, in the Spanish community, of course, uh, I don't know why. I, I know that when I went to, 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 to Spain or to Colombia, for example, for, for academic uh, travels and, and academic experiences, no one were interested in Wikipedia. No one had any experience in Wikipedia. They, but, but I mean, they are not statistically <laughs> uh, interesting data. But maybe one thing can be a sort of, uh, I mean, mistrust or, or, or um, low consideration of Wikipedia as a, um, a platform where to collaborate and to work also for experts. While the English community, English speaking community in the United States especially, but in Canada as well, in Australia, in England, are very, very active. Also the academic um, communities are very, very active on Wikipedia and they collaborate a lot. They create special labs inside university. Uh, I mean, my project, our project is a very I mean, it's a volunteer project, so we, we do, I do it when I have some free time, but they have uh, institutional labs uh, and, and projects on Wikipedia inside universities. As regards the control of quality, you're right. This is the, the, the special dynamic uh, of, it's, a, it's a, so crucial, so peculiar of Wikipedia. Uh, that that the that's it, it, utopic. They have to have a neutral point of view and to have a high quality. Uh, it, there were a lot of studies about that at the beginning. So the first years of Wikipedia, the number of articles and the quality of articles, of course, were low. And um, and we, I remember, I started working, I started writing on Wikipedia in 2003. So the, the first years, let's say. I changed something, I added something, I added two or three articles, I don't remember exactly. But I mean, like sort of a free time job, just saying, ah, it's interesting, let's see what is, what's happening. Um, the more and more the community enlarged, the more and more the articles increased, the quality that was studied by, I mean, uh, external uh, authorities, increase. That doesn't mean that there are bad voices, bad articles, that there are some companies or political parties on private people they are trying to, I mean, uh, um, to, to, to influence the, 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 the articles on Wikipedia to support an idea 
product, a commercial product or something else. You're right. What I say if someone asks me about that is that you should have uh, uh, pushed, clicked on the modify button and changed the voice and changed the article if you have the competence on it. It's just what we can do about that. There are not, not, there are not authorities that do it. There are some, there's a community of people, there are people more expert, more active, of course, on Wikipedia. They have uh, special powers. There are these administrators. They have just they are elected by editors. They are not chosen by uh, I mean a top authority. They have the power, for example, to um, uh, ban uh, uh, an editor if they realize that an editor, the, the, the user, is making some bad work. They're making fake news, spreading fake news, uh, and so on and so forth. They can ban him. They can cancel articles. We can cancel articles, for example. So there are some, uh, but there's of course, uh, uh, there are volunteers as well. So the, 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 so the activity depends on the, on the time and the, the efforts of, of community. So it, it's like the definition that I, that I, uh, I, I share with you of cultural heritage in the Faro Convention. The heritage depends on communities. The quality in Wikipedia depends on communities. So be okay. bold and, and change. Yes, on community and on literacy of that community. Yes, yes. And on yes. skills. And it's not, it's not so easy. Uh, yeah, you you, made, easy. It, you, you made it very, very easy, but I think it's not. <laughs> uh, thinking about the, 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 the whole, uh, what I mean, uh, the whole articles of Wikipedia is not easy. If you work in your sector, if you work, uh, you involve people you know, if you involve students from your position of teacher, you can do your, your little but useful uh, effort to ameliorate, to increase the quality of uh, Wikipedia. Okay, That's what thank we you. can do. <laughs> thank you, Pierluigi, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you, you're welcome. Uh, there are other questions on this first part on Wikipedia. If not, I can move to the second part of this discussion that regards the quality of digital content and the impact of digital content on cultural heritage and tourism. Uh, this is a discussion that, uh, I mean, is part of my studies. Uh, the, the quality of digital content depends on a lot of, uh, of indicators and a lot of requirements and we could discuss about that for hours and hours and days. I wanted just to share some opinions and discussion with those among you that are interested in those, uh, in those uh, challenges. First, uh, the first requirements that I think have to be considered is the question of selection. selection. I know uh, touristic uh, companies, people who's uh, developing touristic websites and so on, that collect with very, very, with a, in a hurry their, co their contents. And they insist always, always on the same contents. Um, there's no challenge in selecting and in, in I mean, uh, trying to figure out what users can be interested in and what is the level of satisfaction of users against those content. So the question of selection is uh, very important and of course is bounded, uh, directly bounded with quality. Quality is not just technical quality, and of course it's important. Quality depends on visibility, depends on, uh, um, uh, on uh, um, satisfaction, potential satisfaction of, of customers or users against the content. Um, uh, um, as regards, and, and another important uh, series of requirements regards uh, the disclosure, dissemination, reuse, and repurposing of digital content. 
when we publish something on the web, uh, don't think just to, to Wiki, because we were talking about Wikipedia till now, but wherever, in a website, in a, in a database, on academia.edu, or in our institutional repository at university, we are throwing it into a galaxy. We are not just closing it, uh, I mean, putting it into a closet. If we are putting it into, if we think that we are putting it into a closet because we have to do it or because we think, like, I mean, publishing it inside a book. Uh, publishing something on the web, publishing content on the web means throwing it uh, uh, in, a, in a very, in an uncontrollable environment. So we have to be aware about the uh, potentialities of disclosure, so how make those, how to make uh, those content visible, searchable, findable, um, identifiable in, the, in, the, in this galaxy, what kind of uh, strategies of dissemination of this content, this content we have, so how to make them easily findable, searchable, identifiable, and so on. Then choose the right licenses in terms of use or reuse. So sometimes we are too careful. Uh, we, we, are, we have very contradictory uh, behaviors. We are very, very careful about, ah, I don't want to publish my slides uh, in, in my uh, teacher's uh, web page because people can use them, uh, reuse them without citing me. And then we publish. Uh, them into Academia Edu, where they are open. Everybody will see them, and they are commercially reusable. So we have, we have, we have, to, be, we have to be aware, first of all, and very cautious in choosing the license of use and reuse of content. Reuse and repurpose it, because uh, my, uh, my picture of a, of a, of a beach uh, of a, I mean, I don't know, a, a sunset on a beach published on, on Facebook or published on Instagram. Uh, we had a case, very interesting case, uh, Alessio remembers it very, very well, uh, of a, a very beautiful picture of a, I mean, old uh, house in, among the fields in Marca region that was, was reused by commercial firms without citing, without quoting, who was the author of the, of the picture, because it was published in, in, in Instagram. So it's possible to repurpose the content, and we have to be uh, careful just in terms of, um, to remember the, 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 do remember what I was saying, what I was saying before about the Creative Commons uh, uh, um, by SA license. So I need, I want, I pretend, that my name as an author of the, the, the picture had to be quoted. My name had to follow all the rep use and repurposing of the, of, the, of the picture. I leave it open, but I was the author. I made the picture. Uh, this, is, uh, this has different uh, declination for websites and social media. We have not the time to go into deep about that. And then other uh, direct channels of communication and dissemination of what's new uh, about uh, our touristic destination or our cultural heritage uh, institutions, content, and so on. So direct newsletters, emails, customer dedicated services. So we have other, uh, uh, I mean, tools and methods to disseminate, to make marketing about uh, our, our content. I am still convinced that community and stakeholders' engagement is the, a very good approach, strategy, to guarantee uh, a, 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 a high level quality of content. Because they come directly from what community and stakeholders evaluated as, as significant about uh, um, destinations and cultural heritage places. Um, and um, I mean, the comparison, the, 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 the match, the, 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 the um, say the exchange with customers 
and final users, we will give, and we have to examine it, we have to evaluate it, we have to study that, those, those data, will give us the success and we have to be open to uh, um, uh, evaluate, to change, to um, um, think that we are producing uh, content in a circle, uh, uh, um, uh, life cycle, not just produce them like a book. And this is definitive. The web has to be continuously updated, immigrated according to the success of our I mean, goals and according to users, final users and customer satisfaction. Uh, just to close uh, this uh, list uh, of requirements and all issues, uh, I think it's very important the question of the evaluation of impact of digital content on destination. It was ever evaluated, you have ever evaluated what was the impact of good digital content, good or bad digital content on touristic destinations or to, for example, uh, on uh, um, cultural heritage institutions. It is very rarely evaluated. We are still, um, uh, let's say, um, bounded to this old idea of publishing uh, uh, on, on print. So we publish something on print that is a definitive operation. So we uh, control quality, we review, we and so on. We, so we I mean, follow a, a chain of production that is must ensure quality, then we publish, we print. We even don't care about the dissemination of, of, of our printed books. How many people wrote, read our, my, our books? Uh, academy has not, uh, our university are not asking to, to, to ask that. And try to, to get to, 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 to go over this, this, uh, this, um, this chain, this mentality, this approach, because the impact inside, uh, the, the impact of digital content that are inside this uh, uh, infosphere galaxy that I tried to present to you uh, um, this morning, uh, is, has followed completely different rules. So we have to evaluate if we choose the right selection criteria, if we manage in the right way the quality, if we choose the right uh, strategy in terms of disclosure, dissemination, possibility to use, reuse, access. There's the question of accessibility, for example, for disabled people. There's the question of usability of a web environment. Sometimes websites are very, very difficult to be browsed, to be navigated, because they use uh, um, strange terminologies. They offer to us too many choices, so we lose ourselves trying to find the path, the right path. So there are a lot of variables, a lot of techniques that have to be considered. Two, but the, the last word uh, have to be reserved to final users. They were satisfied. They were, they could, could complete, they could achieve their goals in accessing our web product, in using our uh, 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 web content uh, with efficiency, with, uh, with efficiency, so easily, and they were satisfied. I think that all this field of study that has some uh, techniques, ready to, to, to use techniques, there's some experts, of course, some guidelines and so on, and needs to be more, spread more for cultural heritage institutions and for touristic uh, DMOs or, or institutions.